How are you doing, Henry? Hey, how are you, Stefan? Yeah, really good. Um, I mean, I watch everything ahead of interviews uh, to do research, to refresh the mind. Um, I couldn't watch E.T. Um, I had this emotional reaction to this film. Uh, the music, everything about it has this quite profound effect on me. The nostalgia that pangs inside me is almost unbearable. Um, I find it quite overwhelming. But what, what do you think it is about E.T. that has this effect on people? And I'm interested to know what your relationship is when watching the movie. Can you watch it like we watch it? Or is that sort of impossible? Yeah, I can't. I can't watch it uh, subjectively. Uh, no, I, it always. I, I always get taken out of it because I think of, oh, that was the day uh, we had lunch and we went here, things like that. But I think the reason why the film is so impactful and why it's stuck around for so many years is because it it speaks to our sense of compassion, and it's a universal. Thing. It, it not only speaks to the child in all of us, but it speaks to the caretaker in all of us. And I think we all have that as human beings. So uh, it, it amplifies that and kind of draws attention to that in, in, in the individual. I have these kind of select memories of my of my childhood. And I realized a lot of my memories are actually from photographs and kind of home videos. So I questioned if I actually remember those moments for real, or if I've just seen that picture or footage so often, I kind of feel like I remember that moment. Is That's that right. what's the case of you? What's the case of you in ET? Do you have quite vivid memories from your experience? Or some of your memories actually just the kind of film itself, if that makes sense. Yeah, indeed. Uh there is that. Uh the memories are kind of the film itself, but I was 10, uh, 10 and a half while we, while we filmed. So I remember everything quite clearly, uh, you know, day to day stuff, but my memories are, you know, very boring, uh, you know, run of the mill everyday sort of memories. You know, I, I remember riding the bikes around the stages and I remember uh, goofing around on the weekends with, Robert McNaughton and some of the other guys. And we were in school a lot. So I have a lot of school memories from E.T. with the whole cast, you know, in one little tiny schoolhouse. Mm. So it was an experience and it was it was impactful in my life. But again, it was only 10 weeks in 1981. So um you know, it it became much more of a of a big memory than it was at the time. And how was it acting um, with the character up against E.T.? Because, I mean, you'll have since in your career worked with kind of green screen. Would you say in some ways, even though technology has kind of progressed, that's a kind of easier way to work, with actual physical puppets or actors to work in front of, even though I did read you struggled to main, maintain eye contact as his eyes were quite far apart? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> that was difficult. Uh yeah, it was it was a challenge uh, at the time because you know the technology for the creature was cutting edge in 1981, uh, but as you say, it was all mechanical and it was it was all puppetry and and reacting to something physical that's actually in front of you, I think even if it's fake, is a lot easier than imagining everything you know and oh there's an explosion over here and now you're seeing a bird fly you know it's uh it's if it's real it, it feels more grounded um mm -hmm. but again technology has come so far uh these days that uh, it, it took so much time to get uh the creature ready and to get the scene right and and get the shot and get what we needed from from the mechanical creature uh i don't know it's kind of a trade off now it takes less time but it's less real uh then it was more physical but more painstaking to to accomplish I was going to ask Tommy because your uh, sort of two part question. Your audition, your audition has become quite famous as well. It's become almost quite iconic. You were so fearless watching that. Is that is that fearless child still in you? And the second part to that question is a bit different, but I'm running out of time. But I just wondered if you kept any souvenirs from your experience making ET. I I didn't keep any souvenirs, but um, 
but it's interesting that you say that fearless child because when I see that, I just remember being so scared that I wouldn't get the part and so sure that I had failed um, going into the audition. Uh, it wasn't until Spielberg said, okay, kid, you got the job. Uh, that's the first time where I, I thought, oh, I'm doing a good job. So yeah, I, he's still very much here. He's still very much afraid, but uh, you know, I'm keeping it in check. Brilliant. Well, they made the right choice casting you. You made Elliot the most wonderful, relatable character. When I was oh, a kid, it was everything. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for saying Brilliant. that. I appreciate it. Thank you, Henry. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank Cheers. you. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.